Hello, I am Wendy Figge. I want to explain to you how to set up equipment for a rabbit show. All of our equipment is stored in a 16-foot trailer. There are various tables and pens, and the purpose of this video is to show how all these things come together. This is a rabbit judging table. It is a plastic lightweight table. We have welded on extensions to the table legs, so instead of being 30 inches tall, it is now 36 inches tall. The tables also have the words judging table on the ends. Next, we put on pieces of plywood. The tables are not wide enough for adequate judging, so four by eight sheets of plot, so four by eight foot sheets of plywood are placed on the top of the judging tables. This picture shows two of the tables set up, and someone is starting to set up a third table. In this picture, there is a judging table set up with one of the carpets on top. The carpets are stored with the pile side out so that when they're unrolled, the ends curl down and not up. The carpets give the rabbits better footing so they can be posed correctly by the judge. Since the plywood would slide when the judge or exhibitors lean against it, it is fixed to the table with bolts. Holes have been drilled into the plywood and into the tabletop at each end, and the bolts are then slid into these holes. There is no need to put nuts on the bolts. Just put the bolts in the holes and let them drop in, and then the carpet is put over the bolts, which keeps them from popping up. This picture is the writer's table. As you can see, the writer's table is the normal height, and the judging table to the right is taller. The proper setup for the writer's table have these three items, the scale, the hand sanitizer, and a roll of paper towels. In this picture, we have put the wooden holding coops on the table. These wooden coops are stored flat and must be assembled. They are assembled with bolts and butterfly nuts with the butterfly nuts on the outside so they don't hurt the rabbit's eyes. This is a picture from the front side of the table. The front piece is narrow so the judge can easily lift the rabbits out of the wooden holding boxes. Bolts with butterfly nuts fix this front piece to the ends and the wooden inserts fit in the slots to divide the wooden holding coops into 11 compartments. We now move to the wire holding coops, which are behind the judging table. The holding coops are only used for rabbits and not for the cavies. The 4-H'ers first set up the wire legs and then place wooden tops to these low tables on top of the wire legs. The molding is positioned down to assure the legs stay under the tops. This shows a complete set, with both tables being the same height. The low holding tables are then covered with red rosin paper. The paper is wider than the tables, so the excess is folded, and then the paper is flipped over, so the double part is in the back. As the rabbits sit in these holding coops, they urinate, and most of the urine is at the back of the coops, where the paper is doubled, so it provides extra protection for the wooden base. It's a simple flip, and the paper is correctly positioned. Next, wooden racks are put down on top of the red rosin paper. There are only 12 wooden racks. If there are only six rabbit judges, then each judge will get two racks. If there are more than six rabbit judges, be sure every judge has at least one of these racks and that rack is positioned toward the side that has the writer's table. The rack allows the urine to fall through so the rabbits aren't sitting in their urine. It also prevents the rabbits from scratching up and eating the paper. Next are the wire holding coops. Be sure the tops 
open to the front so the judge can easily lift open the top and get the rabbits in and out. We like to have the coops about two inches from the wall so that when the tops are opened by the judge, they stay open propped against the wall. Check for any defects in the wire clips uh, and call these defects to the attention of the floor superintendent so they can be fixed. These are the foam floor mats. This provides cushion for the judge's feet. Standing on cement all day will cause foot and back problems. This is the same picture of the foam rat mats, but looking from the other direction. The mat should be positioned so when the judge is at the table, he or she is standing on the mat and not on the cement. The distance between the judging table and the wire holding coops is important. This picture shows them to be about four feet apart. We don't want them too narrow because the judge needs to have room to work, but we don't want them too far apart because the judge would then trip over the foam mat going from the table to the holding pens. Also, um, this gives more room for the exhibitors if the tables are not positioned too far out in the center of the judging room. So we've now gotten the judging table set up and we're ready to begin to judge. At this time, notice if there are urine spots on the carpet from a previous show. Be sure these spots are inside the wooden holding coops and not in the front area where the judge is trying to pose the rabbits. This picture shows correct placement of the wooden holding boxes. You can see the judge's hands to the left. Most judges like about 12 to 15 inches between the edge of the judging table and the wooden holding coop. This is the spot where the judge poses the rabbits. We thank you for assembling this equipment. Without your work, the show would not be possible. We hope you have enjoyed this video.